Chucky is one of Dead by Daylight's most unique killers in terms of design, and he has some serious utility packed into his kit. You can structure so many different playstyles around his abilities, and today we're going to be covering one of the most fun and powerful builds he has to offer. If you're new here to the channel, consider dropping a like or subscribing if you enjoy the content that you see today, and come say hey over on a Twitch livestream, link in the description. But let's jump into the video. We're going to quickly cover how Chucky's ability works so you can best utilize the build, but don't worry if you're already familiar with this, I've divided the video into timestamps so you can jump straight to the build. Chucky moves at a rate of 4.4 meters per second and has a standard tail radius of 32 meters. His ability is called Playtime's Over and this grants him access to a variety of unique abilities. Once Playtime is Over is charged, Chucky can enter Hidey Ho mode, which makes him undetectable and generates map-wide footfalls. While in Hidey Ho mode, Chucky can slice and dice, which allows him to rush at unsuspecting survivors before leaping forward and performing an attack. Lastly, Chucky can perform a scamper, which allows him to crawl under downed pallets or silently climb through windows. Chucky can scamper while using the slice and dice attack as well. But with that all covered, let's jump into the build for today. For this build, we're going to be largely working off of Chucky's scamper ability and punishing survivors who are playing pallets. Our first perk on the list today is Enduring. This reduces the duration of pallet stuns by 50% and is going to pair well with a few other perks that we're bringing. Up next, we've got the perk Hubris. Whenever we're stunned by a survivor, that survivor will suffer from the exposed status effect for 20 seconds. When survivors pallet stun us, not only will they have some serious consequences, but we'll be able to follow up quickly for that exposed hit using our scamper ability. After that, we've got a unique Chucky perk, and this is called Hex 2 Can Play. This perk was tier 2 during the time of gathering footage, but regardless, anytime we are stunned or blinded by survivors three times, Hex 2 Can Play will cause a dull totem to become our Hex. Survivors who stun or blind us will then be blinded for 1.5 seconds. This works really well with our other two perks, and who doesn't love bringing a fun hex perk? Lastly, but certainly not least, we've got the perk Barbecue and Chili. After hooking a survivor, all the other survivor's auras will be revealed to us when they are further than 40 meters from the hook. This is going to help us play off the built-in stealth to our kit and track down unsuspecting survivors. Real quick for add-ons, we decided to bring the running shoes, which give us a 4% movement speed buff for three seconds after performing a scamper, and the yardstick, which causes our scamper to reveal the auras of survivors within 20 meters of us for five seconds. But with all that out of the way, let's take a look at how this works in game. All right, looks like we are spawning on into the shattered square. This should be pretty interesting. Uh, hopefully we can get a few pallet stuns going here to um, on this map but let's go ahead i think we are gonna head just kind of straight down maybe to that right side there and see if we can get going uh hopefully we'll be able to get our hex rolling as well relatively quickly uh but nonetheless uh it's sort of a it sort of helps the build to continue to uh, get better as time goes on uh they should here we come yep uh let's go for meg first pick up one as soon as she takes that oh if she'll take a stun we'll do it we'll do it yeah beautiful scamper big one here Oh, that is so awesome. Are you kidding, dude? All right, and then let's uh, do a little slash and dash here. Uh, unfortunate miss. Very close, though. Um, maybe pull an M1. Nice. Beautifully done. Here she takes it. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this pallet as well. That's a great start for this build. Absolutely. Char stain. Nice. We got two downs. That is awesome. All right. Let's go ahead and make sure we definitely get mega up very quickly here. We'll do another M1 there. Make sure he's steering away. Let's go ahead and get her up. And we'll start with our first hook, and then we'll go for Jane as well if we can. It's going pretty well, though, so far. <laughs> All right, beautiful job. Let's grab Jane real fast. We'll go ahead. Uh, let's go for... Mm, should we go for basement? I don't think we're going to make it to the basement. Let's go for this hook up here. She might even wiggle before we make it here. I was a little indecisive. I think we'll be okay. That was very close. Uh, I did hear another survivor. I felt like maybe running down to the hook or something as well. Not totally sure. Yeah, it looks like he's coming in here. Do a little dash attack. Oh, unfortunately, I was trying to miss Jane's hitbox. Uh, let's see what we can make happen though. Hopefully we can get another stun to rock here as well. He might even trade. Yeah, let's go take that trade then. I said, no, dude. Great saves, by the way. That was beautifully done. 
All right, up we go. Uh, we're gonna do just the same hook, and then we'll try to hunt down uh, one of the others. And if we can find Steve, that would be really, really, really nice. Uh, there's some barbecue value for us too, letting us know where Steve's at. Uh, let's maybe throw on our stealth right about now. He doesn't totally think we're coming his direction. We're so small. It's so awesome, dude. That is amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> no way. All right, that's great. Man, it's so what I really like about this build is the mixture of information uh, and aggression. It's really, really, really nice in that way. So um, beautiful stuff, though. Looks like they're healing up, uh, which will be good for us. Hopefully, if we can play another pallet with them. Uh, let's go check out over here. Stealth it up a little bit. Yeah, we do have some scratchies. I'm gonna pull around this side. Nice, beautiful job there, well played. All right, let's get her up as well. Ooh, I, <laughs> I really had to focus on that one. All right, let's do, I think we'll just do that hook there. They should save uh, and continue healing. I do wanna make sure that they don't stick that gem that Steve is working on either. That would be ideal if we could prevent that from happening. Let's go make sure it's still regressing. Uh, and I, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like around main building there as well. Uh, let's go ahead, get stealth up. Don't hear anyone super close or anything. Let's maybe go check that main building then. Get in close while we can. Yeah, definitely up here. Nice, we got some great distance off that. That is so, so good for chasing survivors off of high. Uh, I, like second stories, you know what I mean? That's awesome. All right, cool. We'll do this hook here. Uh, looks like they are gonna stick that gem. They'll probably get it finished, which is a okay. We will uh, jump into our um, slice and dice here. Beautiful, nice stick, by the way. That's fantastic. Let's go for Jane then. Steve should be saving Meg as well. And the good news is, so if the survivors choose not to heal against uh, a build like this, your chases are much, much, much quicker. Uh, and then if they do, you can still get the value of something like Hubris Enduring. Uh, so it's uh, it's kind of a nice, and it pairs just so well with uh, Chucky's ability, his scamper. It's it's just so, so nice that way. All right, let's see. Looks like they're coming in here. The slice and dice. Good movement. Beautiful. Unfortunately, I just used my uh, my slice and dice, so we didn't have a scamper on cooldown there. Oh boy, though. Let's get her up very quickly. Come on. Uh, let's just go for this uh, hook here, and then Steve should be running in to save somebody. I'm sure. Unfortunately, death on the hook there. Well played, though. There's some barbecue information. Let's try and sneak up on Steve and secure this man. Beautiful cloud play, dude. Wow, that is such a strong build. Um, and again, I know I've already said it, but it, it just really plays so well off of Chucky's kit. I, and, you know, I, I think you can definitely get that sort of hubris enduring um, value on a lot of killers, but it's almost really neat that you can kind of skip the Spirit Fury and really get some extra value uh, just out of his power, you know? Um, and additionally with these add-ons as well, it's really, really, really helpful. It's a nice blend and it just creates so much pressure. So it's, uh, it's pretty freaking awesome, dude. I won't lie. Uh, that's a, a pretty solid build, if I do say so myself. <laughs> Woo. All right, dude. Well, great game to each and every one of these survivors. Nicely done. Again, that's the build. I hope you all really did enjoy that showcase. Uh, and I'd love to hear down below uh, other ideas that you have for Chucky builds or anything like that. Uh, but nonetheless, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate your time, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.